Taylor Swift expressed genuine admiration for Travis Kelsey after the Super Bowl, calling him magical during an emotional exchange on the field. Following the Chiefs' 25-22 victory over the 49ers at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Swift's heartfelt comments, captured by a hot mic, revealed her intense pride and joy. I've never been so proud in my life, she shared with Kelsey. Swift was visibly curious about Kelsey's achievement, asking, How did you do that? How did you do it? Kelsey reciprocated, praising Swift for her composure despite a lengthy flight from Tokyo to attend the Super Bowl. Their playful banter continued as Kelsey questioned Swift about jet lag, to which she responded with humor, saying, Jet lag is a choice. The duo continued the celebration in Las Vegas, gracing multiple clubs with their presence. Witnesses observed their intimate moments, prompting Travis Kelsey's brother, Jason Kelsey, to affectionately label them as two people in love. As Swift prepares for her upcoming ERA's tour in Australia, speculation lingers about whether Kelsey will join her. The Super Bowl celebration provided a rare glimpse into the personal connection between the pop sensation and the football star, adding sincerity and humanity to their public personas. Swift's admiration for Kelsey humanizes these celebrities, showcasing their ability to connect personally despite demanding professional lives. The playful exchange about jet lag highlights their humor and camaraderie, while their after-hours celebration paints a picture of carefree spirits savoring life's moments. Jason Kelsey's observation adds a touch of romance, leaving fans intrigued by the potential romance blossoming between the two. As Taylor Swift continues her tour, the speculation surrounding her connection with Travis Kelsey intensifies, leaving the world eagerly anticipating the next chapter in their intertwined stories. The post-Super Bowl exchange has left an indelible mark on the public's perception of Swift and Kelsey, showcasing a side of their lives beyond the glamour of the stage and the excitement of the football field. Taylor Swift's influence and Travis Kelsey's Super Bowl outburst, a shield from backlash. Former MLB executive David Samson posits that Travis Kelsey's association with Taylor Swift played a pivotal role in shielding him from repercussions after his heated incident with Chiefs head coach Andy Reid during Super Bowl 2024. Kelsey, visibly upset after being removed from the game, berated and physically bumped Reid on the sidelines during the second quarter, following a play that ultimately led to a fumble by running back Isaiah Pacheco. Samson, who previously served as the president of the Marlins and executive vice president of the Expos, shared his perspective on the Dan LeBadard show with Stugatz. He asserted that in a scenario like this under his leadership, the player would have faced disciplinary action. However, Samson suggested that CBS and the Chiefs opted not to take action to avoid upsetting Taylor Swift, providing Kelsey with an out from consequences. Expressing his stance, Samson mentioned, I would have benched him. One series. Lubatard challenged Samson, implying that he might not bench a star player during a championship game. Samson responded by highlighting the influence such actions could have on the entire team, emphasizing the need for consistency in disciplinary measures. Samson drew parallels to a past incident involving the Marlins when star catcher Ivan Pudge Rodriguez was benched during the 2003 regular season. Reflecting on this, he stated, I should have benched him for the game. What he did is inexcusable, and no one talks about it cause no one wants to upset Taylor. It's a joke. Despite the controversy, Chiefs head coach Andy Reid downplayed the incident, attributing it to Kelsey's competitive nature and desire to be on the field. Reid acknowledged that Kelsey caught him off guard and apologized afterward, emphasizing the tight bond between them. However, Reed sidestepped further questions about the incident, showcasing a reluctance to delve deeper into the matter. The dynamics of celebrity influence, especially in the context of Taylor Swift, have become a noteworthy factor in assessing the handling of player behavior. Samson's perspective sheds light on the potential impact of a high-profile relationship on a player's accountability within a sports organization. In this case, the delicate balance between maintaining discipline and avoiding conflicts with influential figures like Taylor Swift has raised questions about the fairness of treatment within professional sports. As the sports world continues to navigate the intersection of celebrity and athletics, 
The incident involving Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift exemplifies the complexities faced by teams and organizations in managing player behavior and the potential ramifications of celebrity connections on disciplinary decisions. Taylor Swift had an unforgettable and romantic moment with her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, after the 2024 Super Bowl, as they danced to her 2008 hit, You Belong With Me. The enchanting episode took place at Resorts World Zook nightclub in Las Vegas, where the Kansas City Chiefs were celebrating their Super Bowl victory. A heartwarming video capturing the scene has circulated on social media, showcasing the couple's joyous celebration. In the video, Drew Taggart of the Chainsmokers, who was the DJ for the night, and his girlfriend, model Marianne Fonseca, engaged in a conversation with Swift, 34, and Kelsey, 34. The interaction unfolded after Kelsey was spotted singing the lyrics of You Belong With Me to his girlfriend, creating a memorable moment in the club. Fonseca complimented Kelsey's swift response to Swift's song, expressing admiration for how quickly he joined the dance floor. Swift, with a radiant smile, responded, That was the most romantic thing that's ever happened to me, emphasizing the specialness of the moment. The Karma performer then exchanged introductions with Fonseca, creating a warm and friendly atmosphere. Kelsey shared a humorous anecdote about almost missing the chance to dance to You Belong With Me. He revealed, you played it, and I was literally coming out of the bathroom. I'm like, yes, it was the perfect time. Swift chimed in, recounting the surreal feeling of meeting Kelsey on the dance floor, and then we met in the middle. I was like, what is happening in my life right now? In a TikTok video from the event, Kelsey was captured singing along to You Belong to Me, playfully altering the lyrics to ask, Are you in love with me? while pointing to himself. This lighthearted moment showcased the couple's playful dynamic and added an extra layer of charm to the celebration. Kelsey, stationed in the DJ booth with the Chainsmokers, engaged in a dance to the club remix of the song and shared a warm hug with Taggart. A separate video angle, shared on TikTok by Kelly Teller, revealed that Swift, known for her hit, Lavender Haze, was not in the DJ booth when the song played. However, she enthusiastically sang along, gestured, and raised her glass when the lyrics, Why Can't You See Slash You Belong With Me, played, contributing to the infectious joy of the night. The Chainsmokers acknowledged the spontaneity of the moment, with Taggart confessing in the video that he wasn't sure whether to play the song. Nevertheless, the decision to rearrange the setlist for this special occasion was deemed worth it as the celebration reached new heights with the crowd's enthusiastic response. In summary, Taylor Swift's post-Super Bowl celebration became a story of romance, spontaneity, and pure joy as she and Travis Kelsey shared a magical dance to the tune of You Belong With Me at Resorts World Zook Nightclub in Las Vegas. The exchange of smiles, playful alterations to the song's lyrics, and the vibrant energy of the night created a memorable and romantic experience for the couple and those lucky enough to witness the enchanting celebration.